My journey sailing the political tides of Kogi State these past seven years has been fueled not only by the drive I share with my boss and Siamese twin, His Excellency Governor Yaya Bello, but more so a learning curve drawn out by His Excellency over the years. It was Rosalind Keta who famously said, a leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go, but ought to be. Today, every person of truth and goodwill who examines where we are developmentally as a state can come to only one conclusion, that Governor Yaya Bello has not only met the above criteria and should be classified as a great leader, but he has exceeded it and ought to be called the transformational leader that he is. As his chief of staff, His Excellency and I share a bond that kept me by his side, learning each day up close as I saw courage, drive and resolve, even in times he was left to stand almost alone and trailed by misconceptions for his stance. These attributes are most necessary for effective leadership, especially in this time and climate. Daily, I saw him stand for the good people of Kogi State and hold on to those stands against odds and sometimes vilifications only for later exoneration. Three years ago, he trusted me further to deputize him, a role not only crucial but of great significance being the second ranking office in the state. And this time around, he sent me to work in the field first to put to practice the things I had learned by his side as chief of staff. And secondly, to learn in more practical terms the mappings, workings, and surely the ropes of executive office. As deputy governor, I've been privileged to represent my boss in key and crucial functions of national significance, interacting with top level personalities, picking brains and understanding the workings of development and economic growth at the highest level. It is easy for one to say these opportunities are normal for my office as deputy governor. But knowing that leadership requires adequate nurturing and preparation, knowing His Excellency, Governor Yaya Bello, to be the mentor he is, it is expedient to say that he is deliberate and decisive. And so I have taken these opportunities as they obviously are a part of the learning curve. These seven years, I have traveled the length and breadth of Kogi State and Nigeria. This is not a story of the places I have traveled to and the people I have met as deputy governor. This is the testament of the lessons I have learned and the trainings I have received walking this call to this point. Bound by loyalty, I have humbly and happily learned in words and deeds. This is a testament of one trained to continue to drive the passion for development and growth that propels the new direction administration. This is the bond of loyalty, statesmanship, and patriotism that I share with you. My dear co-guides, to continue this journey together, building a Kogi state for today and for tomorrow, this is our story, our testament. My name is Edward David Anoja.